Hello, Martha Denise Kearney, and want to welcome you to our Chistel, C-H-I-S-T-E-L-L.com YouTube channel. And this Chistel.com YouTube show is about why you should keep promoting your books. I know that the uh, couple of things that a lot of new authors and some midstream authors may not know or forget about is a lot of times you want to, you want to number one thing that can be forgotten you want to start promoting your book at least six months before it do the hit market because you got to want to build momentum and then when it's published you want to ride on that momentum and then most most authors will promote for three to six months after and then start looking at their next book that's coming out just particularly a, a full-time novelist who might be coming out with four to six books a year it's just a process a scheduling process that they go on but for those who don't publish as often as that sometimes they people will dismiss the pre-marketing uh the pre-publishing marketing piece of it and again six months before the book is due to hit the market uh to have its publication date is a good time to start promoting but then what about afterwards even if you have other novels that have come out uh my first book came out up uh, Portia, I actually have a copy of it. I was doing my book readings. Portia came out in 1998. And I still promote all of my books, although the book that I'm promoting the most right now is my latest book, which I'm reaching for, is uh, Love Pour Over Me. So this is my latest book. And this is the one I promote the most, but I still promote Portia and Long Walk Up and Spiral. Love Has Many Faces is sold out. And then Rosetta's Great Adventure it helps to build momentum for the next book like goddess glory g-a-d-a -A, it's a woman's name goddess glory that i'm working on it's a story set in chicago in the 1940s but that's to keep building momentum for your next book that's one reason why you want to keep promoting your books so why should you keep promoting your books book sale another reason book sale and i learned this from personal experience I told you Portia came out in 1998. Books sell for years and decades after they're published. Some of them hundreds of years later. And uh, creative artists to think about when you consider that are William Shakespeare, his plays, you know, colleges and high schools study his work. And uh, Agatha Christie, her books, Nora Zell Hurston, Langston Hughes. Uh, I could go on and on and on uh, with people whose books years later i'm thinking of the author of the book the street and I, her name escapes me right right now paul Ernst dunbar he's also a native ohio native as am i but their works their were well, their poetry their plays their novels they came out years and years decades ago william shakespeare we're talking hundreds of years ago and they're still relevant his work his plays so that's a that is a key reason why you should keep promoting your books, regardless of how long ago it was that the book was initially published. And it may take years or more for your books to gain traction. And it could be like, come out with love, pour over me somebody who didn't know about Portia, or Long Walk Up, or Spiral, or Love As Many Faces. They might read uh, Love Pour Over Me and read my bio and say, oh, she's written other books, and then read those as well. If I stop publish, promoting Love Pour Over Me and just wait till God is Glory comes out, that's that, that space that's left for you without any book publishing going on. Continuing book promotion could help you to build a book marketing mailing list. Now, I do my newsletter, which I have to get one out, but my mailing list, I can use it to market off the shelf. A, a weekly literary radio show that comes on Saturdays at 11 a.m. on Block Talk Radio. I can promote that, I can promote upcoming books, just keep in touch with readers and uh, subscribers by which saying happy holidays, letting them know about uh, shows coming on at the chisel.com YouTube channel. Those are different things you can do. Uh, so you can help you build a book marketing mailing list. And do I want to, as a tip, just have a sign up on your for your book marketing mailing list on your website and on your blogs. It can also help ongoing sales can serve as a gateway to sales to newer books you're going to publish. Newer books you put more readers can learn about you as an author as you continue promoting your books. 
television, radio, and local newspaper or local magazine writing opportunities might appear as you continue to promote your, promote your book, especially if you're on uh, social media sites like LinkedIn. There are people who will reach out to me and they'll say, oh, I see you're an author, or different things that I put in my LinkedIn profile. They might find me through the website. I, I've got phone calls, different things where people found me on social media or they found me online. If I quit promoting, then that, again, that, there's that void. So that's another reason. And they might tell you, you know, I'm starting a new radio sh a show or television or whatever, and I think you'd be a good fit. And you might get some opportunities there. The right readers may find your books as you keep promoting your books. I think that there are readers who are matched to certain books and that they will benefit from reading those novels and nonfiction books. If you stop promoting, those readers who haven't found you yet might not find you. And innovative book marketing ideals might spring to mind as you keep promoting. So you promote a book that came out 10 years ago. You continue to promote your books however however soon you, you mark you write and publish new books. Some people, some authors publish, like I said, six or more books a year. Some once a one book a year. Some one book every two years. Um, every three or five years. But if you keep marketing in that time, you might come up with some innovative ways to market books, and you might be able to use that those marketing tips to uh, generate an income from a book marketing training that you start book marketing workshops that you start, or maybe some free tip giveaways is another way to spread the word about your books. But as you keep marketing, more creative ideals on how to market my service as well. So I'm just, those are just a few reasons to keep marketing your books. And I hope you would do that because there's so many great books that don't make the bestseller list, but they are awesomely good stories. So keep writing those great stories. And I, I, I am an avid book reader. I still read as well as write. And please subscribe to our Chisel.com YouTube channel now. And I hope you'll go and get a copy of my latest book, Love Pour Over Me by Denise Turney. It's in print and ebook format. And I'll see you back here at our Chisel.com YouTube show, channel next week. Bye for now.